so when you compare Nigeria relative to other emerging markets, it seems that Nigeria has remained behind, sitting at double B minus. Uh, we know that... Uh, We've been focusing predominantly on the Vision 2020. We know that it's making headway from a macroeconomic perspective. Give us an update in terms of the thinking behind uh, Fisher's uh, lack of movement on the Nigerian uh, rating. Well, in fact, I think there has begun to be some movement. We, sh we shifted the outlook last October from negative to stable, which is obviously a step in the right direction, although uh, we haven't gone beyond that yet. Um, this year, I mean, is going to be a crucial year. Um, I mean, the, the headlines that Nigeria seems to attract tend to be the negative ones on the politics, but um, behind the scenes there's some um, important changes going on on the policy side, and we saw the, um, the, the, um, the protests that were provoked by the elimination of the fuel subsidy back in January. Um, obviously, the, uh, the protests were negative, but the fact that uh, the government have recognised the need to do something on that front is a very positive sign. The budget that they've uh, announced for this year is also slightly tighter, and you've started to see the benefits of that in reserves, which have actually um, risen quite, quite a lot this year. And that was one of the things that we, we highlighted as being a relative weakness for Nigeria. So things have started to move in the right direction. <laughs> Um, there's still a long way to go, and um, you know some of the important policy moves um, that they're trying to achieve are still meeting political resistance. So, you know, we have to see how they how they yeah. get these things through the parliament. But so far, so good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look at also the uh, oil demand that is coming through, um, we know that a positive scenario could play out given the fact that Iran is going through some trouble. It is said that countries like Nigeria would be targeted. We've got robust growth over the last few years of around 7% growth uh, on you know, the GDP front uh, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, this also should play in favour uh, to Nigeria yeah, in getting an I increase mean, there. Yes, sorry, its growth record has actually been very good. It still, it could be a lot better, and I think that's why these uh, structural reforms that they're talking about, particularly on the electricity sector, the uh, energy sector, uh, and the agricultural sector, are so important. If they get, it, Nigeria is a country where if they get a few things right, they can um, benefit very quickly, and you know it wouldn't be unrealistic to expect double-digit growth in South Africa. In, uh, in Nigeria if they, uh, if they got these uh, policy changes through. Uh, just looking at the fuel subsidy, we know that it's been partially removed. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, things could be looking better. We know that obviously that is going to have an impact on the macroeconomic perspective and also just looking at where inflation is right now. Um, surely that's also going to have an impact there. Yeah, I mean, inflation is another area where they need to do more. I mean, they have kept it under control, but it's, it's, you know, it's on the high side compared to, you know, where it needs to be if they're going to move up the rating scale. It's in the low teens, and, you know, it needs to be in single digits at least. So, um, but again, you know, we've seen positive changes there over the past six months where the central bank have moved to a tighter monetary regime. Um, so, again, it's a step in the right direction. Um, given a, give us an indication. I mean, you're talking about things. They're heading closer to this. Nigeria could be heading to, towards a, a move to uh, this investment-grade scenario. Uh, what kind of targets have you put in place and what kind of uh, movements would you be expecting into 2012? Well, let, yes, let's keep, things, um, let's keep things in proportion. I mean, the... The, the experience of countries which have made the sort of transition that, you know, that Nigeria aspires to, which is um, getting to investment grade, um, you know, it's typically taken between six and eight years. So, you know, that's why in the context of the Vision 20.